I think Coolsville sucks. What you call an icon living? Try to make a little mismatch, just did it. Now I love you for five minutes. Oh, we have to ride in the place. Hi guys, it's Mayana and today I'm going to be blessing you with horror books recommendations, okay? So, I really could not wait to do this. So I decided to start a series called A Hex Girl's Guide To and then it would just be like, if you see A Hex Girl's Guide To, then it would just be like all like things that are like related to Halloween. I started this series last year, but I started in the middle of October and I only uploaded one video. I believe that it's up. I could have taken it down. I don't know. So then I decided this year, I wanted to just do it like a series where it's kind of like recommendations, but also just like anything like Halloween recommended recommended it but halloween related i don't know i just love halloween it's my favorite time of the year it's literally the time that i thrive i just i love it i'll probably be doing these videos once a week i'm just gonna get started into these because i could talk about how much i love halloween and how much i love horror for the longest time ever or i can just give you these recommendations the first book that i have is horror store by grady hendrick i really liked horror store i gave this book three stars i believe it was like a good book though i do have a review of this up on my channel but this book is so cool okay like this book is supposed to be like it's about this girl who works in the store and i forget what it's called but it's it's essentially like ikea which is why this book looks like a literal ikea catalog and she has to work overnight and like apparently this book like the building was built over a prison and so there's like ghosts and like it's like haunted and stuff and it's really really cool i think there are just the book was like really really short and there were some things about it that i didn't personally like but i thought the book was so cool like i the book this book is really cool like it's literally like an ikea catalog okay like it has a map and oh it's called the store is called orsk and um it just like it literally is there's a delivery form there's a freaking, what the, there's a freaking delivery form like this book is just so cool and then every chapter there's like a random objects and they get creepier and creepier like it's so freaking cool the next book i have is actually an arc and this book doesn't come out until september 24th and it is called rules for vanishing this book is about a legend and the legend is that this girl went into the woods one day and her brother like went to go look for her and he found her talking to this old man and he kept calling her name but she couldn't hear him and then she like walked off into like the darkness with him or something like that and so the main character's sister goes missing and a year later she sets out to go and find her sister and i just thought that this book was really good i gave this book five stars it has like a friend group and they're all in high school i thought this book was middle grade for some reason but they're all in high school and like this cover is beautiful okay like i cannot wait to see what this looks like in a hardcover because this cover is so beautiful but i really really enjoyed this book next book i have is undead girl gang and i personally love this book this book is about like this book has such good representation this book is about the main character whose name i forgot but her best friend dies and the there's this thing going on in school where a lot of people are dying and the school thinks that they're just com like committing suicide so they kind of they don't i don't want to say like they just assume that it's suicide and the girl the main character knows that it's a murder so she brings her best friend back to life because she's a witch and she ends up bringing back two other girls and i really like the dynamic between it between the characters because the two other girls were like the popular girls of school and then the main character and her best friend were like the um were like the not popular girls of school so i really like that dynamic but this book's plot twist it was good i guess i figured out what the plot twist was and i don't know if that's because i'm insane i really enjoyed this book and the cover is so beautiful next book i have jake would literally kill me if this book was not on my list and that is the devouring gray i gave this book four out of five stars i really like this book but there were some aspects about the book that i really wish were better but this book is essentially about this girl whose family is a founding family of this town and her mom moved away and so now her mom is moving her to so she's new to the town but her mom isn't 
and their family is like a founder family and each founder family member has a like special power and i really love like founder family stories i think that just like something about this book i don't know what it was like i don't know if it was like the characters weren't developed well or what it was it just felt very it was good like it was a good story like it was everything you would want but there was just something missing about it and also this book does lack people of color more than i think about it like yeah they do have um characters from the lgbt community but they don't have any people of color in it and it's like a group of four friends and there's not one person of color here okay the next book i have is the wicked deep i gave this book three out of five stars i personally like this story um but there were some things missing about it with this book if you don't know what this book is it is about a town that has this legend of these three sisters who were accused of being witches so they were drowned and every summer they come back to get revenge on the town and they take the body of a girl and they just drown boys yeah because people the people that drowned the witches were like men and like women who were jealous because they were so beautiful that like they were women were like jealous that their men were like paying attention to them so they were like oh yeah they're witches and like men were attracted to them too and they were just trying to be like oh like they're witches so we shouldn't be so attracted to them and it's like may not use any excuse not to be trash like but they are i like this story i get but i gave it three stars because it was very predictable and like even though it was predictable i still enjoyed it but the fact that it was predictable kind of took away from the story for me but i really like the town and the author has another book called winterwood that's coming out in november and that is set in the same town i requested an art for it so hopefully i get it because i really would like to read this this book is good to read in either fall or summer just because it's spooky but it takes place in summer next book i have is a v schwab book well victoria schwab and that is city of ghosts i think i gave this book three out of five stars this book is about a girl who can talk to ghosts and she has a ghost best friend and her her parents are ghost hunters but they don't know that she can talk to ghosts and they have this like show where they like hunt for ghosts or whatever and i like this book but what took me out of it was the amount of Harry Potter references in this book. And I noticed one thing with V.E. Schwab is she references Harry Potter a lot in her books. And I personally don't like pop culture references. Like every now, like every, like if there is a couple of pop culture references, I'm like, I can deal with that. Like I can do it. I'll be like, Ugh, but like, that'll be okay. There was one part where she was mentioning um something harry potter every single chapter and it was like okay sis we get it you're a harry potter stand like please stop it annoyed me but it also it didn't annoy a lot of people so i feel like if you don't like pop culture re references you're not gonna like this book but if you don't care for them and you don't mind then you're gonna like it but the pop culture references really took me out of the story the book i have is small spaces and i rated this book five out of five stars it's a very quick book and it's very spooky and i love it okay like this book was so good it's a middle grade book oh also um city of ghosts was a middle grade book too but this is also a middle grade book and this book is about a oh i don't even remember this book this book just reminded me of Coraline a lot but like not really this book is about a girl and she's kind of like a loner and she just loves to read and they go on the school field trip and their bus breaks down and they have this legend of this guy and I forget what the legend was but they have a legend and yeah like the guy like their bus just breaks down in the middle of like the road and there's like a bunch of scarecrows everywhere and they keep thinking like are these scarecrows like moving like am I tripping and I really really liked it it's, it has like a group of friends and it's just such a cute book the next book I have is another V. Schwab book and this book is weird because it doesn't like it doesn't fit the tone of all the other books but I read this book in October last year and I thought that it was really really perfect it took me a while to get through this book I gave this book four out of five stars I thought that I was gonna love it but I didn't love it as much as everyone else did and I didn't like it didn't get to me like everybody like every other book it didn't get to me like it got to everybody else like everybody else gave this five stars and it's like their all-time fave but i just it just 
felt very lukewarm to me anyways if you don't know what vicious by v schwab is you must be new to booktube but i'm gonna tell you okay um this book is about a girl there's no there's no girl with character in this book this book is about a these two guys and they're in college and they think they are said to believe that if you have a near-death experience you can gain superpowers so you know what these dumbasses do they try to have near-death experience just to gain superpowers and there's one that's like evil and then there's one that's like good but you really don't know which one is which like beginning of the story you're like oh i know but by the end of the story you're like mm, okay so which one is the good and which one is the evil and um i thought that this book was really really good but like i said there were it, was, it felt very lukewarm and i didn't like it as much as everybody else did and i think that that becomes a problem with me reading sometimes is i just don't like books as much as everybody else does and i think that affects like how i rate books and how i feel about them but this book was very good the next book i have is the diviners by Libba bread this book is a very popular book on booktube i gave this book three out of five stars just because it didn't live up to the hype for me this book is very character driven it does have a plot but the plot is very like I don't want to say not there but it's very much like underlined there okay um this book is about a girl who has the power to like get a memory just by touching someone's object and she ends up actually using her power on the wrong people so her parents sent her to new york to live with her uncle and in new york there is this murder that is going around where and so they're trying to like figure out what it was and there's these set of people who have special powers and they're called the diviners and personally i did not enjoy the book as much as i thought i would but um maybe i'll give this book another try i did listen to this book on audiobook and i like to believe that if you don't like a book in one format you should at least try it again in another format so maybe i'll try to like actually read it physically since i've already read it before but i just did not care like i know a lot but i know if you like i know a lot of people normal people would like this book i think that i'm just very very picky and that is why I didn't really care for it. But like, if you're a normal human being and you're not a picky reader, you'll definitely like this book. The so next book I have is actually a podcast and that is Welcome to Nightville. Welcome to Nightville is a podcast that I am very, very obsessed with. I actually haven't even read this, but I wanted an excuse to put Welcome to Nightville in a video because I never talk about it when I am absolutely obsessed with it. Like, so is my sister. My sister actually has all the volumes. I just have this one and I have the actual book Welcome to Nightville but I just wanted to recommend the podcast and this book is just the podcast in book form and I just love Welcome to Night Vale so much basically what Welcome to Night Vale is it's like this you're it's like this um it's hard to explain okay so there's this town called Night Vale and there is basically like a radio it's basically like a radio show but they're telling you like it's like you live in Night Vale so it's like in the radio show it'll be like oh like if you see the big floating green blob if you see the floating green blob don't make eye contact with it who knows what'll happen like it just it's like you live in that town and it's just very like random things and the town is just so spooky and it's random and nothing makes sense and it's absolutely chaotic but it's so amazing and i just love welcome to danville so much like it's my all-time favorite podcast says as she only got to like episode 13 and two years ago and still haven't finished it the last book i have on this list is a book that i have not finished yet and i kind of feel very iffy about it but i still wanted to recommend it because a lot of people love this book and that is serpent and dove i am 100 pages into this book and i don't hate it but i just don't have any feelings towards it like it's a very much like book that anybody would love it's about a witch and she has to pretend to not be a witch well it's about a witch and it takes place in france and she has to pretend to not be a witch and she has to marry this guy who hates her because she's a witch and she hates him because he hates her and they're forced to be like married and yeah well he's a witch hunter it's a witch and a witch hunter who are forced to marry each other and this book has a person of color and um I just really like this like I really like the idea of the book but I haven't gotten to the point where the book was actually good like the whole is, like this book just seems like Mayana like it's like the whole aesthetic of the book is amazing the author's Instagram aesthetic for like is set around this book and I think that that is the most genius thing ever but um yeah I just 
I really like it, but what what I really want to like it, but I just don't don't have any feelings towards it so yeah that's it for this recommendations video let me know if you actually read any of these books that i am recommending to you and how you feel about them or if they're just low-key trash but yeah that's it for this video make sure to follow my social media which is always linked in the description box like comment and subscribe to join the cult and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>